What is going on everyone? Road trip. So we're going to do a video inside the vehicle for Chelsea's match against Wolves this weekend. Chelsea, as you know, have been playing a lot better. That League Cup match against Newcastle should give us the motivation, the drive, the ability to beat Wolves because let's be real. Wolves right now are not sitting very good in the table, but they are unlucky. They should be higher up in this table. If you recall, they've had multiple VAR issues with some of their matches. Had those gone the right direction for Wolves, they would probably be sitting higher up in the table. So therefore, this game will not be a walk in the park at all, especially because it is an away match for Chelsea. We do seem to struggle quite a bit, even if we're away or if we're at home, so it does not matter. But that all being said, I do want to give my starting 11. I do want to talk about how Pochettino needs to work with this team to actually start playing better to win matches. Because what we saw against that game against Newcastle League Cup gave us a little bit of an insight what's been wrong with this club and what's been wrong with our formation, player selections. And hopefully, I believe Pochettino has realized that. If you have not watched, I made a video about that, the five things we learned from that match so again if you haven't watched that go back and watch that but let's dive into my starting 11 because again this seems like this would be the most reasonable starting 11 maybe i missed something and pochettino would see something else obviously i'm not there in the training but still this would be my ideal starting 11 now obviously in between the sticks petrovic has to be starting i believe sanchez is still hurt when he comes back, I'm not too sure where we'll go. This will be a real good case for Petrovic to show his abilities. And maybe Sanchez will have to win that spot back. I don't know as of right now. But for what I do know, Petrovic will be starting because Sanchez is out. So we're not going to talk more about that. The back line, though, this is where it gets very interesting. Because I believe we need to start with actually fullbacks and not CBs. Because when we have four CBs, we are really lackluster going forward. Yes, we're really good defense. Well, not even that good defensively but we're better defensively with four cbs but we need to be better attacking and therefore again i think it makes sense to have at least one fullback and therefore on that right side makes more sense to go with malagusto who should start that position because when we saw him come on in the newcastle match we were more attacking on that side and we know that chelsea loved to work on that right side we'll talk about some of the players ahead of him but malagusto on that right side makes the most sense now the pairing cbs we have a lot of options, and I know people have talked about Thiago Silva. I and myself have talked about Thiago Silva possibly getting more rest or getting benched. Don't want to say he loses his position, but with all these games coming up, it would make sense for him to maybe get some rest. But this match is probably a match that he needs to step up once again because Chelsea have the momentum going forward again after that big win or draw winning the PKs against Newcastle. So therefore, I think Thiago Silva starts this match as one of our CBs. Now the pairing with him, again, there's multiple options. We could go with the Sassy, Colwell, but I think Battishield gets the start with him this weekend. I know I understand Battishield had that error that happened last time, but still, I think he's going to be the better player. And yes, it is a problem for Desassi, he has been playing very well for us, but right now, if again, we're going to have a fullback on that right side, Malagusto needs to be there, and therefore Desassi most likely will be on the bench, and therefore Colwell will be on that left wing, or uh, left back, because we really don't have anyone, Cucurella is out, uh, we know Chile's out, so therefore, again, that's the only real option we have, yes, we could put Mats in there, but I don't think Pochettino is going to go fully with two fullbacks and two CBs. So therefore, again, we're going to keep those three. Malagus is probably going to push up. And therefore, again, that's not going to be too big of a surprise. From there, the midfield itself, I think, kind of picks itself. We have a few injuries. So therefore, again, double pivot. We have to go with Casado and Gallagher. I mean, Enzo is hurt right now or out with some flu type thing. So therefore, again, he's not even going to be selected in this match. So right now, it picks itself, those two players. Where it gets a little interesting, though, is in front of them our attacking third because the last few positions that we have we're mostly gonna go three one up top and and Kuku is back so again you're gonna think he should start this match but I don't think he's gonna start this match so I don't see him sitting in that number 10 spot I would love to see that happen this match but I think Chelsea's gonna be very smart about this and again take their time to bring this player back into the squad because if we just throw him right back in there's a possibility of picking up an injury we saw it with Reese James I would hate for it to happen to Nkuku because, again, this is a player that could be a game changer, a season changer for us. But if he gets hurt right away again, obviously that's not going to happen. So, therefore, Nkuku will be on the bench in the beginning. So, therefore, Palmer will be sitting in that number 10 position, which, again, we've seen him do very well in that position. This will be a great spot for him. So, I don't think he will struggle there. And he can float around that entire attacking third. So, therefore, again, this will be a great spot for him. Now, the Wings... 
Same thing, I think these guys picked themselves from what we've seen lately. Mudrik on the left side, after his big performance coming off the bench against Newcastle, he deserves a start. If he does not get that start, it's really showing some of the players that even if you play well and, and again, make a huge impact on the game, you're not going to start. Really does drive a message home to those players. So therefore, again, Mudrik has to start this game because when you perform that well and what he did, he deserves it. And therefore, again, give the time, give him more games. Hopefully, he can keep working on that and grinding and getting better and better and actually proving the player that he is. I think he still has it. I know some people will say he's not ever going to show his worth, but give him some time. It will happen. Sterling off on that right side again. I think he also has been playing very well as of lately. Yes, he's missed a few opportunities, been a little bit selfish, but still we need some more um, senior players on the pitch itself to again have that mindset that again if we go down a goal or something we have to again drive forward and again score those goals and have players that can step up Sterling can definitely be one of those players now the number nine position this one I know people have talked about going back and forth but really if you think about it Jackson's the only option we have yes it's bro yeah but still Jackson just scored again and therefore, in the last uh, league game, not the League Cup, but has been scoring goals. Yes, he's missed some sitters, but still, Broya has not been scoring goals, so it does not make sense to start him. You could argue, yes, he needs more game time as well, but Jackson himself can score goals yet. We've seen him do it, and I think he can do it again. And once Nkuku gets into this game, whenever he comes on, whether it's at halftime, maybe 60 minutes into this game, he will make a huge difference with Jackson. And therefore, again, that makes the most sense. Now, that all being said, I think Chelsea do have the better team and should win this match. Yes, again, it may be a close match, but overall, I think Chelsea win this game 2-1. I still don't think we're going to get a clean sheet. We've still been lacking defense, but overall, Chelsea should get all three points, and again, getting the direction or momentum going in the right direction, and therefore getting all three points. So, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that, and we will see you after the match.